Hi, this is Philip Griffin for FCTV, and today I'm in Houghton House in Dublin Zoo to help the Irish Wildlife Trust and the National Biodiversity Data Centre survey Ireland's smooth new population. The smooth new is one of three amphibians in Ireland. The other two are the natterjack toad and the common frog. Not a whole lot is known about the smooth newt's distribution, which is why we're here today. We're going to be surveying sites around Dublin, gathering data, which hopefully will be rolled out throughout the country next year. I'm going to go in and attend Newt 101 now. Wish me luck. So I'm here now with Kieran Flood, who's the Smooth New Coordinator with the Irish Wildlife Trust. He's hosting today's session in Dublin Zoo. Can you tell me what do you hope to achieve with today's training session? Uh, today's training session is basically to uh, orientate people with the survey and inform them of how it's going to work and train them in some basic new identification skills so that they are then confident enough to go out and carry out some survey work. This survey today um, is going to be carried out throughout the country. Um, we're doing it in four different counties and we're hoping that next year we'll be able to get funding from someone, for example, like the National Parks and Wildlife Service uh, to carry out the survey on a national scale so we can get data for the national distribution of this species. Um, and then there's the um, National Biodiversity Data Centre. They're government funded and they're in charge of uh, keeping records of species distributions and we are working with them for this particular survey. What is the biggest threat to the smooth new populations in Ireland today? I'd say the biggest threat would be uh, their habitat being uh, damaged or destroyed. Uh, smooth newts rely on wetlands for reproduction and um, a lot of wetlands have been drained and uh, polluted and damaged over the years so that, I'd say that would be the number one threat. Okay Kieran. well thanks very much for talking to me today and the best luck with the survey, I'll be getting uh, my hands dirty too. Now I've been told by some local fellas here that this is the best spot to find newts. Last week they actually found some themselves, they saw them right in this particular spot. So we're just going to look through the vegetation here and see what we can see. We've already caught a little baby frog and some tadpoles, so it's a good sign. Oh, I think we're in business. Yes we are. Oh my god, yes! Now it's only a tadpole, but it's a newt. Now you can see in comparison to the frog, the newt is here. Now, really, this is this is a real young one. It's still got the gills. Now they have proved extremely elusive, but there it is, proof right now that uh, they are in this spot. Well, this evening's been a success. We have evidence of baby newts in this particular pond. I can only hope that my fellow surveyors around the other Dublin ponds have been as successful as we have. If they have, this entire survey will be rolled out the entire country in 2011. So from this undisclosed area, this is Philip Griffin reporting for FCTV on a successful hunt for the smooth news.